My name is Jonathan Darlington. I'm the conductor of Tandon's Tees and music director of Vancouver Opera. The first sounds you hear in the whole piece, actually, you have a low double bass on an A. So the orchestra, a classical orchestra, tunes to, the, to an A. But through the audience comes what's called a waterphone, which was invented by a man called Richard Waters. <laughs> and it's actually um, some brass rods in a stainless steel sort of bowl, if you like, and there's a little bit of water inside these, so when you bow them or hit them, it sort of makes a weird, eerie vibration. So you have the classical orchestra, double basses down here, and this strange sound, those are the first sounds you hear. And then there's a rhythmic element, which is people slapping on water on stage, and it's and that's how the whole thing starts. And then monks start charting. So it's very, very atmospheric. And they always have this, this theme, which is which comes back in various guises. So to come back to the way he puts things together in a rather Western way, there are certain, certain light motifs things which we associate in our minds with either events or figures or personalities or whatever else. And this is one of them, and he introduces it at the very beginning. And he does variations on that through the whole piece. Which is at one and the same time for me also rather Western and Eastern. You have but then somehow it doesn't quite feel Western because of this. That's a good example of this, the marriage of these two civilizations, I think. Tea is a must for anybody who's never seen an opera, who's never been in this kind of theatrical experience where there are all sorts of visual effects, sound effects that they won't have come across before. And it's a, a real theatrical experience that when I saw it for the first time at the premiere, uh, the, what, the European premiere anyway in Amsterdam, it stayed with me for a very, very long time. And I'm a hard-bitten professional. So, uh, you know, if you're not, you'll be taken by the scruff of the neck and shook up and it'll be a wonderful experience. <laughs>